This video provides an overview of the Evolver ribbon. The other videos in the Guided Tour series describe the functionality of specific parts of the ribbon in more detail. The model group contains only one button, the model definition button. You use this to specify the objective to optimize, information about the adjustable cells, and information about the constraints. This only defines the model. It doesn't actually optimize. The optimization group contains three items relating to the optimization. The settings item allows you to change various settings, such as criteria for stopping the optimization, which optimization engine to use, and others. The start button performs the optimization. The reports drop down list several reports you can obtain. These reports are available through a dialog box directly after the optimization runs, but the items in the reports dropdown allow you to get these reports at a later time. The help group contains the usual utilities and help dropdown lists. Specifically, you use the utilities dropdown to get to application settings for Evolver as a whole. And you can also use it to unload Evolver or load other decision tools add-ins. Its other two options allow you to reset the adjustable cells to their original values and to change a technical option on the optimization algorithm. The help list is self-explanatory. It includes a number of options for learning Evolver better including many example spreadsheets. You can also open the welcome screen from the help dropdown, and this provides links to instructional videos, such as the one you are seeing right now.